Uh, some years ago, I can't remember exactly, I was writing a novel called The Guts, and the central character uh, had to have a Facebook account. I um, sat in the kitchen one, one evening and feeling as if I was just about to press a button and perhaps destroy the world, I opened a, a Facebook account. And I was a bit mystified at first. I didn't really know what to do with it. And um, then Obama and the Queen of England came to Dublin, or came to Ireland, but you know, from my perspective, they came to Dublin. Ireland was just on the side there, and they had a gawk at that as well. But, um, and there was a bit of excitement, uh, and a bit of merriment and giddiness around the place that had been absent since the collapse of the economy. And uh, it was great. You know, so I just imagined these two men, slightly older than myself. Uh, I liked the perspective of them being a bit older than me. Not that much older, but perhaps five years, you know. Uh, sitting at a bar and just chatting about it and their take on it. And I posted it on Facebook and uh, the reaction was great. It was really good. So um, I met a man who was interested, uh, very keen, that it, the, the two characters somehow or other become a play. And I fought the idea because I really thought it would just be cut and paste, you know, all the sketches put together, which wasn't really appealing and I think wouldn't have worked. But my father had died a few months before, this is three years ago, and this man's mother had also died. And we were talking about our experiences of the routine of going into hospital to visit them. And uh, my father was in Beaumont Hospital for four months, you know. And I really took a lot of my anger out on the car park in Beaumont. Beaumont. The anxiety of finding somewhere to park, you know, and trying to make sure I had the money. And, you know, even looking at my watch when I was visiting my father with my mother, hoping, hoping you know, in a strange way that we wouldn't go over the, the two quid because I didn't have it in my pocket and the automatic machine never worked. And uh, he was telling me about his experiences and the plot began to open up in front of me that, um, the first act could be the two men after one of them has visited his father uh, who hasn't got long to live and the second act would be a bit further down the line a few days more and the, the, he's waiting for a text from his sister to come up and say goodbye to the father in Beaumont Hospital and the third act is the night of the funeral and uh, that gave me the plot and it gave me something for them to talk about death, the afterlife, uh, illness um, and to string it all together in their own inimitable way. When I wrote it, I didn't envisage it going on in pubs. I thought it would go on in a theatre, to be honest with you. It's a play. And when the idea was put to me, it, it made facile sense for a start. It seemed, oh, that's funny. But then when I thought about it, it does make a lot of sense. I mean, from the royalty's point of view, I'd rather it was going on in the O2 or whatever it's called these days, in front of 20,000 people instead of, you know, 57 in a, in a pub. But uh, on the other hand, it is great and it's part of the adventure and I like that. The, um, all my creative life I've been worried about repetition, you know, uh, very, you know, most obviously about what I write, but I think one of the things that makes me quite excited is not just the new play, but the fact that the new play is put, being put on in a, in a context that is unfamiliar to me. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a, pub, a play in a pub.